eternal affairs seem to raise our spirits in great despair. Through the ashes of oblivion, quick and unseen like the dragon's offspring, for we owe no debts and bow to no king. Every war has its cost and we've paid, won by the bond of the body we made. Starts now as the demons listen, we strike them down, fighting back the rips of blood. Sent from the sky, like an angel in me, give the news to strengthen and words to heed. Heaven's hells are set alight, we're knocking on the gates of hell tonight. Swords and dragons' bones scattered on the way back home, beating to the sound of flashing steel. When the road I hear sound, shut the tales and legends talk, strengthened by the hymns of old, weathered as this fighting from his throne. So we sing a tremendous song. Out a spell in your sequence of chords to inspire and sharpen our rusted swords, echoing the whisper of the trees. Creep on the path where a thousand bots fail from the thick west and jungle trails. Come from afar to set prisoners free to dark tangled depths from the open sea. Dragon's bones scattered on the way back home, beating to the sound of flashing steel. When the road I hear sound, shut the tales and legends talk, strengthened by the hymns of old, weathered as this fighting from this long, so we can sing a tremendous song. Chances don't come cheap to、so、keep alert and on your feet. An ancient spirit song will heal our wounds. On a bench by our defeat, spot the bloodstains on these cobbled streets. A message to the gods to see us through.
For eternal affairs seem to raise our spirits in great despair Through the ashes of oblivion Quick and unseen like the dragon's offspring For we owe no debts and bow to no king Every war has its blessing we paid Won by the bond of the body we made Starts now as the demons listen, we strike them down, fighting back the rifts of blood. Set from the sky, like an angel in me, give the news to strengthen and words to heed. Heaven's hells are set alight, we're knocking on the gates of hell tonight. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. You are all unmuted. I apologize for the late start. We were, you know, awaiting our one of our gracious players, but we are all here. We are all queer. Get used to it. My name is Obsidia. I'm everybody's favorite Death Knight and the DM of this campaign. We're going to be doing round the table introductions before we do a brief session recap, and we jump back into, quote unquote, the shit. So without further ado, we will start off with Paige the Mage. Yes! Hello, that's me! Hi, I'm Yulia. I play the residential cat girl time wizard here on Ashes. Um, I took a, a an unannounced hiatus due to Final Fantasy and sickness and whatnot, but I'm slowly coming back, so thank you and always happy to be here. Always happy to have you. Yes, we came back after a two-week hiatus, but we're here and we are ready <laughs> for trauma. So, next up, we got Ilya. Hello, hello, my name is Lily, and I'm playing Ilya in this lovely campaign here. I'm going to keep it nice and short and sweet, since we're running a little late, and just say, very excited to play D&D tonight, as well as Wednesday with Obsidia again for uh, lovely Iron Kingdom stuff, so look forward to some fun times. I'll, <laughs> I'll be here all week! <laughs> thank you, thank you, Lily. Next up, we've got Euphoria Emphasis on the Cox. Howdy, everyone. I'm Maris. I play Lady Euphoria Cox, everyone's favorite hot pink tiefling milf. Uh, when I am not here being queer, I'm being queer on my own channel, and I do lives and, and story time streams. So if you like comfy vibes and listening to audiobooks, stop on by sometime. Thank you, Maris. Yeah. Next up, we've got your Hal Mal Rao. Let's go. Hey, I'm playing Mal Rao, but uh, you can also know me as Leech for the Bronze. You can find me on my channel, usually uh, trying to figure out how to play Dungeons and Dragons or other RPGs and other things like that. Uh, and I'm going to take a sip of water right now because my mouth is real dry. We love a well-lubricated dragonborn in this party. Thank you, Leetro. And last but never least, we've got <laughs> we've got Gothsess. Me do intro fast. Uh, me cat, me RP cat girl. Me not cat girl. Me night. Me do art. Me do game. Hi. Me love you. <laughs> me done. Thank you, Sess. All right. Previously on Eberron, Ashes of the Last War, our party was able to infiltrate the uh, former Siren Research and Development Facility, known as the Last Stand, wherein they began to discover the secrets that Seer and the dragon-marked houses had tried to hide. Uh, namely, Cess's uh, Delkir symbiote Spike was seemingly giving her access to all manner of forbidden technologies and information that uh, the resident arcane intelligence of the facility was not terribly pleased about, but it still had to cooperate. As they learned, the facility was created to uh, first start with a program known as uh, Project, sorry, Project Hope, and then that secrets created Project Phoenix, which was in essence a kind of super soldier program using forbidden Delkir bio arcana uh, to basically hyper enhance people and to make them functionally eternal by creating a form of uh, living phylactery that they could always respawn out of assuming they had enough a, um, uh, resources to be able to mold a new body for them to imprint on. They also learned that the facility's uh, 
had Project Hope and Project Anchor, which was uh, specifically applicable to their very own Silonia Decaneth, where they discovered Project Hope involved her father's efforts to harness the knowledge that his wife, the late Mermidia, um, Mermidia Orem had, and who had died in some attack during the war, along with his daughter Silonia, by basically eventually figuring out that you could smash their souls together and allow them to plug and play aspects of them to be able to create a stable enough basis to get the information that Mermidia had about how to use chimeric energy, the very energy that could undo reality itself so that he could be able to make a weapon to effectively end the war. Through the use of Delkir technology and the experimentation on perhaps thousands of shifters and changelings, they were eventually able to perfect the process by figuring out that you could just liquefy enough people and it dilutes their personality enough that you can imprint a soul over it, which created our very own Silonia, who then had herself systematically brainwashed and reprogrammed by her father to eliminate most senses of empathy and uh, uh, empathy and moral restrictions on the use of her chimeric energy access points so that she could be a prime tool for facilitating the creation of Project Peacemaker, the weapon that in its first activation and malfunction led to the creation of the Mornlands and the destruction of Seer itself. As the party recovered from this information, they determined they had to destroy the phylacteries deep within the facility that were tragically guarded by the arcane intelligence inhabiting the facility, which was actually just three illithid uh, brains that had been Giast, lobotomized, and hooked up to be a direct Wikipedia access form for the management of the facility and have it in, in the sense of after all of the crew and personnel were deceased has been maintaining operations here much against their, their free will, but it is their programmed obligation. So as the party uh, decided they had to stop this, the AI told them it looks forward to their success, but it was going to also have to oppose them and proceeded to reveal its form of a giant abomination of tentacles, teeth, and claws, and machinery, which has incredible psionic capabilities still. And while the battle was raging, our very own Cess got trapped in a, uh, in a field that was intended to purify the facility of any rogue Delkir organisms, which it had repeatedly told Cess that was inhabiting Cess's body. And in Cess's final moments of being fried, uh, a very good little doggo um, named Spike, who was the Delkir symbiote, uh, decided to give up its, its chance at inhabiting Cess's body if Cess ever died, to give Cess another chance at life, and with the simple thing of what Cess had told it in the first place, to be good. And with that, Cess came charging out of the field, ready to engage battle, and here we are right back in the middle of our combat against the last stand. As we jump over to the battle section, one moment. I have to switch screens for everybody. And there we go. Let's zoom in a bit more on the screen since we are they're right up here. Everybody is inside of this giant monster done by our very own Kalahab, excellent monster designer. And, I, and I believe we are at the top of initiative. Uh, oh, I, I didn't... Was that the top of initiative? No, I, you I actually had gone. So we are at Euphoria, who is currently being... Well, no, I, I, I didn't actually do anything. I just came through the door. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to do my turn then or, or no. at the start of the session. <laughs> You, you got to come back from the dead and give everybody nine temporary hit points. That was what you did. <laughs> I'll keep. Alrighty. So here we are, Euphoria. You're being fondled. What do you want to do with your life? I don't like that for once. Um, hmm. For once. <laughs> uh, Ayo? Yeah, I'm going to... That's the person not being fondled. I think I'm going to do my damnedest to get out of the, the grip that I'm currently in. Um, so I think 
I'm going to go ahead and attack, but I'm going to specifically, like, try to cut through or stab through the the, the grip that's on me right now. Okay, so you are restrained, so you do have disadvantage to, to try and uh, attack it. So keep that in mind if you uh, don't want to try and slip out of the tentacle. You know what? You know what? What am I talking about? You could just what warp. am I talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna summon my echo. My echo's gonna poke it. <laughs> that you? was a you know that that is an approach. That is an approach. I I assumed you were gonna do something different with that, but okay. So you you summon your echo. <laughs> uh yeah, I you know talking about you warping. I can't do that in the same turn as, oh, as okay, it, unfortunately. As well. Yes. Yeah yeah yeah. So I'm going to summon my echo and gonna have my echo try to free me so i'm gonna scooch it actually a little bit there so i'm going to attack the arm that is that is holding euphoria oh, with my echo okay. 27 that will hit nine piercing damage okay it is still fondling you but it has been it has been poked. It I'm gonna poke it, it again. Another one. Another one. 22. That will also hit. Another nine. All right. With, <clears throat> with that extra nine damage, it will drop you. As you hear that psionic scream in your in your head, um, as the tentacle has to pull away from you as part of it gets severed and flops to the ground before it sprouts its own legs and just congeals back into the mass of the creature. Ugh. Gross. <laughs> uh, if possible, I'm, I know it probably won't do much in the grand scheme of things. I am going to back up just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> womp. Womp womp. <laughs> womp. And that'll be my turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, with that, Silodia, our recently mind-broken maiden, will uh, continue to be a supportive bean, and she is gonna drop some DACA on this thing. Her trusty repeating crossbow crossbow. Ugh, she is not doing hot with that. Ah, she at least hit with her. Uh, so as, uh, Silodia tries to, to get her electromagnetic, um, railgun gauntlet bolts to go slam into this thing, it is ricocheting off of psionic shielding and the various mechanical bits of this creature, but she is able to extend one of her spider bot's legs and the force charged blade in it does tear into the creature once more. Ilya. All right. <clears throat> so, hearing an explosion behind me of <laughs> Seth destroying a door, or assumedly Seth. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I don't think I would take the time to turn around to check because holy shit, uh, <laughs> look what's in front of me. <laughs> just um, so I think just like to try and try and stabilize things, I think I'm going to use a big old fourth level spell slot Ooh. to uh, cast the Psychic Lance. Oh, okay, that was a, that's a bold choice. It's it's cold damage, so... <laughs> okay, it's, so I was about to say, I'm like, using Psychic Damage against the Psionic uh, yeah, and, uh, <laughs> Interesting call, interesting call. Um, <laughs> it's an intellect, or intel, not intellect, intelligence saving throw, which is still probably a really good score for it, but you know. Yes, I am good at this. I will um, use empowered uh, spell, or not empowered, the, this, what is it called, heightened? That makes oh. it have disadvantage on the save. Okay. So. Link it. Yes, I'm linking both. Okay. So it's not a constitution save? It's a intelligent. Did you I read? Oh, I linked, I linked, I linked the wrong one. <laughs> I'm terrible. That's okay, better. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Um, all right, so first I'll make my hint save a disadvantage with a 10. 
Uh-huh. So, Miss Maze can tell it's saving throw. It failed save, takes 76 damage. And is incapacitated until the start of your turn. Okay. So, it takes 32 damage. All right. So, yeah. How, how does your psychic ice lance work? <laughs> So essentially, uh, just kind of taking a second to survey the monster, I kind of like just like look to see like to try and find where the brain is, and just like you see, just basically she reaches back and like this like long. I have no other word for this other than this long shaft of ice, uh, just forms oh. in her hands. <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo. And uh, just like takes a second to aim before just slamming it like as hard as she can directly into the brains. Yeah, you, s- you see that there are three brains in heavily armored, uh, like basically jars wrapped with rooms and cabling, and uh, you're able to slam it right into one of those brains. Um, and you see a lot of icy static. Um, appear within the, the jar itself as it, it lets out a very brief psionic scream and much of the body falls limp for a moment. However, there are still going to be two other brains active right now who can do some things. Cool. I'm just gonna... I, I can't really back away <laughs> and out of the monster's reach, so I'm just gonna back, back up right next to Paige, kind of look over at her taking a breath and see Seth's there as well, and just be like, how did you, how, how did you get through? You see the gold tendrils sort of like waving by her as she just sort of looks at you and acknowledges you, but turns back to the foe. Okay, my turn. Okay. Uh, with that, um, I'm gonna be a little, a little spicy here. Euphoria. On, on the initiative 10, please make a uh, wisdom saving throw. Oh. Right now? Yeah, like right now. <laughs> oh, oh, wisdom <laughs> save. oh saving boy. Throw. Okay. Die. Best I can do is a seven. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Uh, do you want to give her a reroll? Do I have a reroll? I don't remember how many you used. Uh, I think only at most one because it's only been around, around like two of combat. Okay, I, 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 it says I haven't used any okay. and I haven't touched my sheet. Okay. Uh, so yes, I will go ahead and get you, give you that. All right, Euphoria, reroll. Bold of you to assume I'll pass this. So yep. Let's go. Oh, yeah, dirty twenty. Okay. Yeah. Fucking, you feel the alien intelligence reaching into your mind with those psionic tendrils to try and take control of you. But before that can truly take effect, Paige manipulates the timeline you're in to basically discard that variant of events. And so it simply, the psionic energy just disappears to a confused gurgling, I guess, from a brain. (laughs) All right, Paige. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, so I will also use a fourth level spell because Ooh. fuck it. Um, fuck it. We're gonna fuck it. Uh, we're following in in Ilya's footsteps, and we're gonna use Ice Storm. So it's gotta go ahead and uh, roll. Da da da. Hold on, let me just go ahead and. I think it's got to roll a dexterity saving throw. Yeah. It's you could it's so weird. Like, but it's good, but it's also very strange that you can move while incapacitated. Okay, (laughs) so I make a dexterity save. Adrian. Let's go. I do have magic resistance. Usually because uh, uh, it's paired with another one. Uh, Ilya, oh well. (laughs) Say, technically it still would have failed even if it was just neutral, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, good enough. It's still half. 
A 19. Okay, so it does, but it takes half. Takes like half? Takes like half? I didn't realize Larissa was here. <laughs> She's always here in our hearts. All right, so it takes half damage. So that would be 10 and two. So 12 damage. Yes. Oh, and uh, two. <laughs> as everyone sees Paige casting, you notice that there is an after image as Paige casts where you see a uh, a taller page with only uh, one eye. The other eye has a clock inside of it uh, that is also echoing her movements to cast the spell. Kind of odd. It's badass. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, is there anything else, Paige? Uh, other than looking over to Cess and kind of worriedly... Are you okay? Uh, she, she nods and then big di- big giant thing focus on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, now wrap. Uh, this thing's in our space and I don't like it. Yep, it, it is all up in your business. So I'm going to back up one space uh, and then I'm going to follow the trend. <laughs> Uh, and cast a fourth level spell. Wow, wow, how original! <laughs> how original! Uh, and I'm going to cast a uh, wall of fire. Oh, okay. As I go ahead and I take my sword and I just strike it into the ground, and suddenly, uh, right here, if you can see the line I'm drawing, I'm just going to create a 55 foot long just wall of fire surrounding us, cutting straight through this thing. Okay. You can draw, uh, you can, like, do a little, a little thingy doodle. Or I'm already on it. And just so you know, uh, only things on this side of the wall actually get hurt. Everything on the inside is unharmed by the fire. That's cool, that's cool, I guess. You're into that kind of thing. Uh, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. Hold on, let me read it. Yep. So you know exactly when it has to make it. Uh, because it's one of those spells. Uh, they have to make it when you cast it, and uh, when it enters the wall for the first time or ends its turn there. Mm-hmm. So it takes one now, and at the end of its turn, it'll also take one. So Considering it's the size of the fucking space we're in, I, it's going to be hard for it to not do that. <laughs> Correct. Well, it got a nat 20 on the first deck, so it doesn't All right, so it takes half, of, <laughs> takes half damage. So seven, uh, eight, eight damage? Mm-hmm. All righty. And that will end my turn. Okay. Uh, with that, we will go to... Um, how about... You know, it's been a while since I've done. How about everybody for my my final brain? I did one's incapacitated, one... That. So yeah, one more brain can act. We are going to go with... Everybody, please make intelligence saving throws. No! I just got back! No, my little brain! Oh, my brain! (laughs) My brain! (laughs) My brain (laughs) says! Well. (laughs) Oh, God. I don't know. We had a good run. Well, that was a good turn. (laughs) 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 All right, let me me have Silo to go. Well, we all take. We, we took all take a collective, 25 psychic damage. We took a collective 150 damage from that. We, 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 we take 25 psychic damage. That's it. Yep. Well, and oh, you're, like you're, you're she stunned. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm down. I'm you down. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I have the nine temporary HP. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I did my best. You tried. You tried. And you we can't good, even honey. stabilize them. Silodia can, at least. She's the one person who saved. <laughs> well, I know what I'm doing next turn. What do you mean stable? <laughs> like, like, She's, it, like... She passed her saving throw, Sif. That is what I mean by saved. <laughs> oh, well, what I mean is, like, 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 the only one that can, like, do anything. Like, are we stunned or are we just taking yeah, 25 you're stunned We're all stunned. Until the okay, end okay. of your turn. Oh. Mm-hmm. Neat. Fun. <laughs> yeah, so it's... Effectively one round that I guess everyone's not going to do stuff because everyone rolled poorly. <laughs> Rip Rose Gold, indeed. Alrighty. 
So that is unfortunate. All right, one of the brains is inactive, so I'm going to try and tentacle our our, our boy Malral. Malral, how fondleable do you feel like you are? I mean, I'm a big fat daddy, so the answer is very, and I respect that. I respect that. Does 26 hit you? Yes. Excellent. You were fondled for. 13 bludgeoning, 8 psychic. Okay. I don't uh, get any fun in this battle, okay? This is so rude. Well, you're down now, so I don't. I can't even fondle you. I'm, I'm uh, not, that, I have, not that kind of person. <laughs> I think uh, I have great armor master, which I think gives me a 3 against bludgeoning. Okay, so 10 damage plus 8 psychic. Okay. And Sess is stunned. I... Yep. Euphoria is down. Make a death save, Euphoria. You got it. All right. 19. You're good for now. Silodia is obviously going to try and stabilize you guys. She is going to I'm be doing the, the double dip here. Let me see. I don't remember if she has this one healing spell. I know she has pure wounds, but yeah, she doesn't have a uh... Healing Word only and Larissa has that, so I am going to use a Cure Wounds on uh, our girl Euphoria, because she is closest. Actually, I'm going to be Big Brain here, and she's going to heal Paige, because <laughs> Paige hasn't <laughs> gone yet. <laughs> Alright, Paige, you are stabilized with 10 hit points. <gasps> Ilya, you are stunned. Move Got along. It. Tragic, tragic. All right. Uh, let us go with uh, trying to fondle our very own Cess. Cess, what is your AC? It is seventeen. Gosh, you think you're you think you're like such a big dick now? Now that you're alive again. Mm-hmm. Damn it! I missed. No. <laughs> with advantage, real rough. <laughs> no. I rolled a thirteen. Paige, it is your turn. You are no longer down. I'm not dead anymore. Yay. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, by the way, uh, please, I will roll the uh, roll the wall of fire damage again. Because it's true initiative was the, the 20 damage. I mean, the 20 initiative, so. Okay. Uh, Matt, going to hit the button. Boop. No. There we go. 23 damage. So it takes half. Another 12. Respectable. All right, Paige, All what right. do you want to do on your turn? All right, we're going with temporary HP at this point. Um, I'm going to use my last fourth level spell. Um, and I'm going to use Polymorph. Ooh, spicy. So... I'm going to change into keeping with the cat brand. I'm going to do a, a saber tooth tiger. Okay. Uh, I don't have that stat profile. I can tool. send it to you. Okay. I can make you a person real quick with it. Um, I can use my same if you want me to. Or I, Well, I meant for like the damage profile and stuff. Oh, that's I mean, fine. I, you could also just type in the commands for roll and die and we'll yeah. do it up. Make you chunky. There we go. That's our big kitty. Was there a large big size kitty? Cat, aren't you? Yes. Okay. Yes, large beast. Okay. Yeah. You are now big Whoa, kitty. Big, big kitty. <laughs> okay. Awesome. You are now the big sister. <laughs> it always was apparently. I already was apparently. <laughs> okay. Her hair white at first. <laughs> Um, All right, and we're going to go with a, a claw attack. Okay, is it a so, bonus action to polymorph? Uh, oh, you know, that's a good question. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can attack on the same turn. I uh, believe it is an action. It is an action. Okay, okay so, so yeah, I am just I am just big kitty right now. All right, so you, you got are the temp a, HP. You are a large yes. saber-toothed <laughs> tiger colored like page. 
So big white fur. Also remember you that you because you uh, use polymorph instead of wild shape, all your mental stats also change. Really? Yes. Wild oh. shape lets you keep the mental stats. Polymorph does not. You're as smart as a kitty. <laughs> Uh, we're sticking uh, to the same. Finally, Kate says has a chance. <laughs> now, Sess is the brains of the operation. My int is three. <laughs> um, all right, on uh, on initiative one, the monster is going to do a. Um, I think I did a tentacle. Tentacle. Okay, so it actually can't go this time because it was incapac incapacitated. So. Start of the next round. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna slam Sess into a wall. Mm -hmm. You said twelve was its actual initiative. Twenty was its actual initiative. Twenty. Was it. 20. Oh, it rolled okay. very well. <laughs> All right, Sess, please make a Constitution saving throw. Uh, do I have a disadvantage because I'm stunned? I don't think, I don't think it's on Con. Strength and Dex, I think. Yeah, I would I imagine know, Strength and Dex. Con would be kind of weird. Yeah. You're a you're a sturdy last. All right, so you take half damage. So, you mm -hmm. take nine damage. Cut in half, but five. Five damage is it slams mm -hmm. you into a wall and continues mm -hmm. fondling you. All right, Cess, it's your turn. You're currently restrained. What do you want to do about that situation? Do you want to say heck it? Wait, I believe they're stunned. I'm not. No, he's I'm not. Uh, Cess isn't stunned anymore. He's only till the end of their their turn. So, um, oh, is it only the end until the creature's turn, not no, our turn? the end of the person's turn. So, Sass went after the thing, and so isn't stuck. Yeah, oh, so. okay. Um, but I'm restrained? Yes, you are restrained. By the tentacle slam? Yes, or? yes. If you look at... No, you're restrained by uh, the tentacle itself. If it slams you, it can then... I mean, if it, if it hits oh, okay. you, it can then slam you. Um, okay, so. gotcha, gotcha. So you are restrained. You can try to escape, or you can attack while restrained. It's up to you. Uh, okay, well, uh, that's a damper on things. Um, I guess I'll bonus action rage and then try to get out. I thought you were already raging. That's like uh, I didn't do a turn last time, obs. Oh, but you just, because you said half damage from the bludgeoning, so I assume you were Well, raging. well, I mean, the, the nine was cut in half because I succeeded the save, right? Yes, yes, that is correct. So I took the five from yes. that, from being that, right. but I was not raging. I'm not like anything okay. right now. Okay. I've, I've you're, 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 you're here, you're raging now. Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to use athletic, so I can use athletic spec out of the grapple? If you want. You can and attack oh. while restrained, but you just have disadvantage. Uh, you are a barbarian, obs, so. Obs. <laughs> you don't. Me and disadvantage, no, no, thank you. I'm just you. saying, you're barbarian. You can't counter it. <laughs> you give it the reckless treatment. Yeah. I guess I'll reckless attack. I'm not making you do anything. <laughs> no, 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 it's, it's fine. It, it, it just sounds like the, 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 we'll give it a try. I just my luck. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna so reckless. So this is this is neutral. Yep. It is a straight roll. You uh, hit. Funny to hit. <laughs> Let's go. I'm angry. This. This, this gal, jeez. 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. Please let me know. You do not want to hold on to me. <laughs> the only way to break the grapple is with the athletic, though. Yeah, like, I can't, like, work that uh, out. You, you would have to attack the arm, and you have to do a 15 damage. It's the equivalent of breaking the grapple. Okay. I'm going to reckless again, obviously. Okay, same roll, another dirty 20. Yeah. 14 more damage. If you've already reckless once, there's no reason not to yeah, reckless yeah, 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 the rest yeah. of the attacks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. And that's my turn. So wait, wait, is it 15 damage in one hit or 15 damage over one turn? 15 damage over one turn. So you are no longer fondled. Yay, I have movement. I'm gonna... <laughs> can't do that either. All right, then I guess I'll just stay here. Yeah, you're kind of trapped because of this wall of fire now. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. You know, it's not stuck in here with you. You're stuck in here with it. <laughs> Euphoria, make a death save. You I mean, got the it. The exit is like right behind us if we wanted to. That's what? another 19, baby. All right. Oh my god. Here. I'd love to see it. You know, at this point, should Silonia even stabilize you? I mean, come on. Nah. <laughs> We're good. No, I'm going to I'm gonna obviously stabilize you. <laughs> <laughs> that is the last of her uh, 
first level, so she'll probably use a higher level. Yeah, she'll use the third level on you. Hmm. Alright, so that's 22 healing. Ooh. Or sorry, that was supposed to be a second level. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> 22 healing. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Then she's gonna do a little force slash. Two, four slash. Will she hit? That's the test. She does. Alrighty, six more damage onto it. This thing is is looking kind of rough. Maybe you have gone over half its hit points at least. Robonia slap. <laughs> she's not doing much. She's just, she's contributing. <laughs> Every bit helps. Um. Now we go to Ilya. It is your turn. All right. Um. I think I'm just gonna look over at the party, nod, and uh, I'm gonna teleport with my bonus action over to here. Okay. And then just gonna sort of on the back side here, so that way I can uh, not hit any of the party members and just cast a good little, little fireball on that. Just a little fireball of ice. Yeah. Goodness gracious, great balls of ice. Holy shit, that's a good roll. That is an incredibly <laughs> good roll, Jesus. Thirty-nine plus five. Okay, okay. Let's 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 like rein it in a little bit. I, I'm, I was so ready to be like, can I yeah, empower I this? God damn it. All right. <laughs> can I, should oh. I empower this? No, me slap. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I, I imagine it's immune to charm. Yes. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> yep. <Yes. laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. That's my turn. <laughs> okay. Tentacle monster. It is going to slam Mao Rao. Okay. I'm just going to smash you. Make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Natural 20. Wow, that's kind of rude. Okay, so you take 7 damage. Okay. As it smashes you about. And uh, I'm looking on the verge of death. Oh, oh, I love to hear it. I love to hear it. Ah, death has come for me again. <laughs> Paige, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to like move just a little bit over. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big... <laughs> And I'm gonna scratch it. Can we, please, gonna... can we please have an official saber tooth tiger meow? Um, um, that was adorable. Meow. Nice. <laughs> terrifying. Terrifying. Continue. You're doing your best, sis. You're doing your best. I'm Vicious. So prepared. I was. <laughs> it's like the the symbol, like rah rah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna gonna scratch it. Uh, okay. I'm okay, so that's Start two. Oh, two D six. This is plus six. That I don't think hits that was, at all. That, you have to. You just roll damage. So. Oh, whoops! <laughs> that was. Yep, you're right. <laughs> so. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. <laughs> plus. It's the twenty-sided <laughs> dice one. Okay. It's, the, it's that one. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, we're doing I things a little bit backwards. Trying to hit with two d six plus six. You know, it's a noble try. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, well, twenty-three oh, okay. will hit. Okay. Okay. Just flip it around. <laughs> okay. So it takes thirteen damage. Yes. All right. <laughs> and I believe most That's... big tigers have multi attack. I'm I think, looking, I but think they have only if I, I do. A, if it pounces, it could do the. Yeah, if I if I pounce, but it's like right in front of me, so I can't. <laughs> you should leap through the pounce. wall of fire. Eh? Eh? <laughs> 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 like a good idea. <laughs> Anything else, Paige? <laughs> I growl at it again. Rar. <laughs> Mal Rao, it is your turn. Right, everyone's pretty hurt. So I'm going to do the uh, bitch thing and do another fourth level spell. What a bitch! <laughs> uh, at fourth level, I'm going to cast Mass Healing Word. Word. Oh, look, Max. Oh. So everyone heals eleven. 
Yay! Yay! Big. I had 69 mm. HP. I don't know if I want it or not. Nice. Oh, <laughs> no. No, no, HP. no HP, HP for 69. you. Nice. Oh, dirty I slot. need it. Uh, that was my last fourth level spell, but it was a bonus action. I'm going to use my main action just to, uh, I guess, hit it with my sword. Okay. You are uh, restrained, so you do have disadvantage. Oh, I am restrained. Yes, you are being fondled. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to use my fire breath weapon instead. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, what is the saving throw? Uh, dex 14. Yep. It's not magic. So... Well, Ooh, high damage. Well, that's it takes actually 17 pretty... fire damage. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. That's more than my fireball. Ooh, this is... As I'm as it's just squeezing you with its tentacles, you just, like, squeeze a little bit too hard around the stomach, and I just let out a large belt of lava. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you did that, because it is about to slam you through a wall. <laughs> but maybe next time, don't grab onto the fire guy. <laughs> No, maybe. All right, uh, please make a Constitution save with Mauro. All right, probably won't be as good as the last one. Eighteen. Eh, that's pretty oh, good. Still pass. Still pass. So you take six damage. Oh yay! I would have been dead if I didn't heal myself. Damn it! <laughs> oh. Your stupid firewall. All right. So at the end of its turn, it's gonna take more fire damage. On its main turn. Oh, Euphoria is coming up soon. I'm, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and mind bend Euphoria again. Euphoria, please make a intelligence saving throw. I mean, wisdom saving throw. Yes. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. I just You're not mind breaking put, me today. <laughs> I just want to put psionic tentacles in your brain. Is that too much to ask for? <laughs> no. All right, mm -hmm. Mal. <laughs> Malral, please roll your damage. Oh, from my fireball? No problem. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you're mm -hmm. rolling so many uh, 20 20s on that. <laughs> Game's easy when you roll well. All right, this thing is really, really not looking good. <laughs> the skill is I rolled really high on that one. All right, Sess. I rolled like you're, three eights. You're not one. fondled. You're not stunned. What do you do with your life? Now I will bonus action claw spikes. So that's more damage. Um, I guess I'll hit it. I kind of don't have many options, so I'm going to recklessly attack it. Rawr. Is there an advantage? Yep. He's not focusing me. I can chop him up more. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a 15 to hit. That's a miss. <laughs> it's like a big tile of sludge on the floor. The fucking <laughs> miss. <laughs> That's it's, a 28. It's because it is also very well armored. <laughs> it's got all those cybernetic metal bits in it. All right. All right. Uh, that's uh, Ooh. 16 Ooh, points. Ooh, max. Oh wait, one more thing. I forgot to I forgot to change the thing. Uh, uh, I'm gonna roll it again, but just for the damage type, so that people oh. notice. Right. There we go. Uh, ah, radiant. Radiant that's now. radiant. There's, there's radiant. Radiant. Fire on the golden tendrils as they slash into them. Okay, for so it. it's no longer force damage. It is radiant damage. This was just stylistic re-rolling, or do you want to take that to roll? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't want to. I, I, no, 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 thank you, Obs. The first spell is good. <laughs> okay. I. This is my fourth level spell. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger fist. All right. With that extra twenty-six damage, we come to a very important part of this fight. Euphoria's turn. No, I mean, how do you wish to do your limit break, Sess? I actually get. <gasps> Okay. Let's go! We had three weeks of no sessions. I've been cooking a what if, and now it is a real. <laughs> Says who, uh, after that initial tentacle slam, was sent flying back into like the, the side panel of the hallway she was cooked in, and a few of the cables sit out. And then as Slavoni is picking up Euphoria, the two of them make eye contact and have a really dumb shared idea. Slavonia runs over to those cables and then says instead it runs up the giant monster yelling at everyone to yelling at Paige and we're going to Paige and Ilya to set up the floor and toss their toys around and Mallory and Euphoria to support and says is going to like Spider-Verse style run up this giant creature and with her tendrils grab its tendrils 
and sort of wrap it around like a roof, like 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 uh, around one of the uh, ceiling ceiling vents, ceiling vent pipes that you see in like labs and stuff. I'm assuming this place has one of those. Yeah. And she's sort of holding it up like a cradle. She slides down. She's got the ten- like it's being raised up, sort of like a pulley thing, where like it's she's going down. It's being raised up, and she's pulling like uh, like it's a gym weight machine as it rises. And then for Ilya and Paige, it clicks. Ilya starts casting this magic spell as ice spikes start to rise from the floor. And then says, seeing this, let's go, and it drops and falls on it. And then before, as it tries to lash out at the, our spellcasters, uh, Malra and Euphoria running interference, says, picks it up again. Paige, using her magic to now speed up Ilya's casting, caught which mutates the ice spikes, so they turn to like, little giant Lego pieces, as says, picks up and drops it on the frozen Lego pieces over and over and over again until it gets harder for it to regenerate each and every time. And as it's rising up, whimpering, says shouts now, as Sylvonia, how you will turn back to her, has connected the radiate the magical radiation energy from the hallway room into her crossbow, releasing one bolt causing the entire creature to disapparate except for the three small brains that start falling towards says says as she approaches it says you got your ending it just wasn't a peaceful one and fucking smashes the brains of their tentacles into pieces oh, that's fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh the death legos strike again um with that we come to a very important thing the giant X appears over our monster as the, the jars smash. The You all get that last moment of a crushing psionic weight penetrating each of your skulls before silence as this thing's congealed mass of flesh and metal and frozen shards just begins to dismember itself without the coherence of the psionic energy keeping it together and you see the mana reactor that was powering everything for this facility begin to go into a critical meltdown as you look upon all of those neat little bioarcane phylacteries in the same room with it but there there are no voices or anything because you have destroyed all the brains controlling this facility but you have the feeling that the magical static in the air right now is only going to get stronger. What do you do, everyone? I suggest we run. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Yeah, there's a time for, and she like raises her hand and looks at like her now golden goo. Yeah. There's a time for self-reflection later, I guess. Are, are we done? That's it? Everything just goes We blowing. need to run. This thing's going to explode. Like a shitty move, action movie. Got it. All right. Yes. It's going to pick up yeah. the wait, uh, two wait to describe my and campaign. put them over the shoulder and start running. <laughs> no, it's a Metal Gear Rising. That's way cooler. <laughs> I'm going to pick up the slowest Dude. character and shove him over my shoulder and just start running with him. Paige will stay in, in the form to run. So. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, very fair. All right, and as, as Seth describes, that is a shitty action movie. Everybody <laughs> runs out of the exploding is facility. Is it in slow mo? You're goddamn right, it is. It's <laughs> oh, yeah. Shitty movies are always welcome in my heart. And <laughs> the entire structure begins to implode in upon itself the moment you leap free of it. And. You see that just strobing prismatic effect as this facility collapses in over and over in an impossible number of times before a massive energy burst echoes out from the now gaping hole in the ground and just smashes into each of you, further knocking you to the ground if you had a moment to stand up. And there you stand. Upon the destroyed abyss that was formerly the last stand. Is... Is, is everyone all right? Tess? Um, yeah. You, you, look, you look good. Yeah. You okay, darling? I got real worried for a second. Tears start to well up in her eyes and 
I just, uh, I'm fine. I just feel a little more lonely now, I guess. Ilya whips out some water from one of her drinking canisters and just immediately, like, takes it and then just kind of puts it on Sess's face and tries to wash away. Not, like, the grime of the suit, but just, like, you know, just the general, like, sweatiness and say, is this... Take it easy, kid. You'll be doing great. Yeah. I just want to go home right now. Is my sister going to be a tiger forever, by the way? How do spells work? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, forever. Yeah, she's uh, 100% a furry now. No, she changes, she changes back as soon as they got out. Um, okay. You remember that bear scene from the latest panel of Hell? Uh, no. Anyways. Um, <laughs> the, just, hey, let's, we should get out of here. Honestly, as quickly as possible. I don't exactly want to see what happens when latent energy explodes, and even more than it already has in this forsaken place. Yeah, we should. Uh, is there a tour guide nearby? I think he left us, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he left you a few days ago. All right. Returned outside the barrier. Let's start making the trek back, I guess. Yeah, head back the way we came. Yeah. Yes, uh, let's get out of here. I think, I think I've had enough of Seer. <laughs> Tyloni, yeah? You know you always have a shoulder to lean on here. Just kind of nods, but doesn't doesn't really look you in the eye. He just kind of looks at Sess. Um, kind of just look over at Euphoria and just give her a soft nod of just like, yeah. <laughs> That's about okay, what I expected. He's <laughs> just going to walk beside Sess. As a kitty. <laughs> no, she changed back. <laughs> I mean, she's still always a kitty, Meow. but... <laughs> Yeah. Let's just head back, guys. Yeah. Kind of looking forward to that train ride right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right. Um, Funnily enough, the, the journey out of the Mornlands only takes a few hours compared to the days you spent getting to the Battle of Seven Spears or the days you spent getting to the Last Stand itself. Seemingly, the, the path to, to get out of here is collapsing time and space to be shorter distances through whatever eldritch machinations govern the rules, if there even are any of this place. And you find yourselves before the great, you know, screaming, the silently screaming barrier of sad and broken souls swirling through the mist. So, since this and probably our next couple of jobs are not like our other jobs, we just head home, right? No one to report to? I'm assuming they'll come see us before we see them. Well, be the most expected conclusion, considering that they found us themselves. <laughs> if anything, at this point, I'm kind of expecting people to just kind of apparate before us whenever we get to safety, because mm. <laughs> magic is a bit of a weird thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's been like two weeks. I can't remember if we were hired for this or not. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> we will be getting paid. Do not worry, Mal. You were hired by a dragon. <laughs> uh, that's right. Let's get. Let's just get on the train out of town then. There's nothing else for us to do here, unless you guys want to say bye to anybody. <laughs> Charm and turns around to the, turns around and waves goodbye to like the hundred ghosts that have been following us. 
Yeah, as, as charming as the locals were, I'm, I'm set to head home. <laughs> we can use sending or whatever it is to let the sister, so let let the ladies know the outcome mm. of the job. But I don't really feel like socializing right now, so the train ride sounds lovely. All right, you guys, remember the key to how you got in here. Friendship. Correct. Yeah, so that's half the answer. We were all holding hands. There you yeah. go. That mm-hmm. was the hold second hands. half. <laughs> hold hands, everybody. Hold hands. Hold tendrils. Says has more hands now. <laughs> <laughs> um, better to hold hands with you with. Yep. Everybody holds hands as you enter the screaming vortex of the void of the mist. And then you find yourselves just a few seconds later on the other side, standing before a carriage with skeletal horses as Marcus is, you know, just kind of sitting on it, putting, you know, putting his cards on the other side of the the coach seat. Oh, welcome back. Hi, Marcus. (laughs) I see the seats for him. (laughs) Oh, I see you were all successful. It's only been a few minutes, so hop it out of your back. Hmm? Oh, a few minutes. Minutes? I time tends to work a little differently in that, but only a few minutes passed since I got back out here. <sighs> the amount of th- oh, yeah. I was to say the amount of things in this world that seem to affect the time the flow of time. It's a wonder that there aren't more chronology uh, practice practitioners. Kind of shrugs. Goes, oh, I don't tell wizards how to study their craft. <laughs> mm. no. I can't imagine. Oh, God. I was just saying, I assume you're all are quite sick of old Seer, so I can take you back to the train, or you can rest in town up to you. Train. <laughs> I think we're itching to get ourselves back home. Thank you. So be it. Amazing. And he uh, smacks the side of the carriage and you see one of the doors just immediately open for you guys. He goes, I was practicing that. (laughs) Most impressive. Everyone pile in. Very tight fit. (laughs) Yep. Yeah, you you all got here in the first place. It's not that tight. So, um, but yeah, it's, you know, just a few hours to get back to town. Um, I'm assuming it's a rather quiet trade ride, I mean, a quiet uh, carriage ride back to the station before you uh, get your tickets and uh, you begin the, the long journey home. As you head on home and um, put uh, car... Could I... Yes. Sorry. Could I talk to Saloni on the train? Yeah, I, I literally was about to get to the train. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, as you put Cardath behind you, you find yourselves on the train if you wish to talk to anybody, Sess. <laughs> uh, I would like to talk to Saloni if that's okay. Oh, wow. Who a little see aside. That <laughs> I'll take her aside, maybe like like in between the train cards so we can like get some fresh air and just talk. Yeah, she um, will... Um, Overall, she is very much keeping to herself on the train. Um, and uh, so when you pull her aside, she kind of goes, It's good to see you. And after everything, it's, I'm frankly astounded you're even alive after what you were exposed to. I, uh,. Just the lucky kind of gal, I guess. Made the right friends. I, um... You gave me a stare back when we were leaving that hellhole. Mind sharing your thoughts? I just... I'm just surprised you're alive. 
It seems that that Delkia organism proved to be quite resourceful in helping you resist that incredible amount of purgation energy. I mean, he wasn't just some organism. He was a friend. He was family. And I just, uh... He's not here anymore, but, um... Listen, I, uh... We were both exposed to a lot in there. <clears throat> and, uh... Well, first off, I want to ask... And she looks down as, like, the gold goo starts to sort of come out of cracks in her body. I'm not any different, right? I just have different parts now. She kind of looks you over and goes, I am no expert on Delkia Bio Arcana, but you seem to, I guess, have something in common with, with me then. Uh, you seem to have a very close connection with the Delkir. Oh, whatever that's worth, and any lasting repercussions or side effects will only become apparent in time. I can study you in the coming days, of course, and see if I can help reach any conclusions, but as far as I can tell, you are in as good as condition as anyone can expect from someone who went through what you went through. Um, you don't have to worry about the research. I think I'll figure it out on my own, do my own thing. But after all that, it's still me, right? So even after everything, you're same. The you're still the same Salonia that we've always known. Okay. The uh, she gives you a very pained smile as she kind of goes. Sess, I'm not even the same Silonia that I thought I knew. As leans back against like the handrails and uh, looks sighs and looks at her. Remember the time we went to the beach and we like everyone was dancing and having a good time. I do. Seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. But you'd still enjoy it if we won again, right? I don't think it would have the same appeal for me that it did back then. What about staying with us? Every morning when we wake up, Louie makes us breakfast. We all sit and talk. None of that's changed for you, right? That's still preferred, yeah? Kind of shrugs and goes I I don't feel like that would be necessary anymore uh, now that I'm enlightened about things I think that eating and drinking and sleeping were just illusions that I was told to do to make me feel human I don't think they're actually necessary at all Perhaps I mean, that means I have more time for productive research. Um, I'm a. Well, if what you said is true, I'm probably the same thing, but. I mean, look at me. I'm not a productive kind of gal. I don't have to eat, but. At least fried rice always makes me. makes my mouth water. And you've scarfed her food down too. Listen, whatever life you choose to live from this point on, whether you stay with us or do something else, is your choice to live. If you want to be productive, if you feel that you have to be something, then I don't think anyone here will stop you. But in that same vein, it's your life to choose what to do with. If you wanted to stop and never do science again, for instance, and just wanted to turn your brain off... I wouldn't blame you. Being stupid's been pretty fun. I can understand that need to do whatever it takes to do something. 
I've dealt with it so I can look good for my community. And even though Paige would never admit it, I think deep down she'd rather do something than just go to university all the time. So. You're going through a lot, and whatever decision you make will support you. But uh, if you ever wanted to just nap together or get a bite to eat, I'll be sure to remind you that's an option, okay? I appreciate that, Sus. I'm standing by what I said. I I will stop what the Ashbringers are doing. I will undo what I created, but I don't feel like there are any happy endings for people like me. You mean like us, right? Because we're like basically sisters now, you know that, yeah? She uh, kind of raises an eyebrow and goes, I think that would certainly complicate things. Also, wait, wait. I mean, don't tell Paige I said this, but I'm kind of into the idea of having two older sisters. I mean, I was made in that lab again. I, I was born in that lab again, if you think about it. So... so now that you're my older sister, you're going to have to, you know, be a good role model and do good things with me, yeah? She kind of winces and goes, Sess, I appreciate your effort to try and put a positive spin on this, but I don't feel like we are as alike as you may believe. And I don't think you would want to be like me. So I'm sorry if I can't be the older sister you want, but I, I've appreciated having you in my life so far. Yeah. Not so good at the words, but yeah. You should figure this out your own way, I guess. But I'm going to be as annoying as possible and continue to remind you that we're all here, okay? I can't promise that I won't that I'll stop that. But I'll respect your space, okay? I appreciate it, Sis. I really do. <sighs> all right, well... I'm gonna go back and sit down. I have been non-stop awake since we left, so I just need to rest my legs. All right. Sleep well, Sess. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sleep well until we get home, but uh, I will try to rest my knees. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, you you do remember it's like a week long train ride because you were literally the other side of the continent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll keep her up that long. <laughs> um, I have a thing for when we get back, I guess. So, anybody else wish to talk while you're on the train? I figured we should have some sort of group meeting to discuss what's going on with Seth currently. Okay. Age mm -hmm. rallies the masses. Like day five, like Paige is like, I mean, says is like, she is awake, but like you can see there's like stress building up around her with like the cracks and gold goo. And you know, Silonia never sleeps anymore. Oh, oh boy. Um, I, I mean, I figured we'd all sit and chat before we get back home officially to, I mean, uh, I wouldn't say welcome a, a new sass because you're still sass obviously but 
maybe get a little bit of explanation about what happened and how you're feeling? Oh, yeah, I, uh, never really occurred to me that I should explain. I, uh, uh, hi, it's me, Says. Um, still Says, just, uh, one deaf more than the average person. I, uh... Are we at an AA I, meeting? I really can't spin this a funny way, huh? You don't have to spin this a funny way. Yeah, but it's a good defense mechanism. It makes me laugh. Mm-hmm. But, uh... You don't have to worry about making us comfortable, Sass. I don't think there's a comfortable way It is way what it, it is. <laughs> so wait, who died? Uh, when I was in that hallway burning up with magic... I ceased. I Spike couldn't protect me, and I was just exposed to it all, and I pop. But uh, well, it looks like you got better. Yeah, as I was sort of transitioning to what should have been the next stage in the cycle, Spike uh, Spike made a call and decided to go, and I couldn't go and follow. And I woke up here. Uh, the goo thing is new, though. I think that might just be because it's my thing now and not his. She, like, sort of, like, shows the golden cracks across her skin. Hmm. Still me, though. Just, uh, one partner less, I guess. Symbiote? Pet? I don't know what the name was for him, but he was important. You you miss him, don't you? Feels like I'm missing something. I know how important they say were to you. I know. And he made his choice, and I have to respect that. Well, obviously he did it for you. Yeah. I'm grateful for that. It can be hard when an ally of yours dies in the battlefield. And there's not much one can say to make it feel better. Only let you grieve over time, and hope that the wound slowly heals. But one thing I do know is that when an ally gives their life to make sure that yours stays going, is that you want to work a little extra hard to make sure their sacrifice wasn't in vain. Yeah, I know. This ain't my first rodeo. Just this one is hidden the hardest. I'm already mm. thinking of things to do when we get back. But yeah, that's that's my status update. That's my report. <laughs> it's not a report, Seth, darling. It's so just... I'm not getting a gold sticker? Uh, do you want a gold sticker? I'll gladly give you a gold sticker if I had one. Use the cracks and forms a little golden star on her cheek. I'll just give it... I'll like reach over and just give it a little like rub in. Just like, gold sticker for you, darling. Thank you. That was your status <laughs> report. What about yours? And he gestures to Salonia. You still planning on staying on the path? Nothing's changed. I I know that I'm necessary to see this done, and I will do it. You don't need to doubt my dedication to the cause. Salonia? When we were in that hellscape, <laughs> no other real way to put it. I know you never slept there. That was, even though you didn't sleep very much before, that was still an oddity for you. And now, even less. I know the burden is immense, but... Having some time to shut the brain off can be, well, 
extremely advisable. I didn't know why I didn't need to sleep anymore while we were in the Mornlands, but after after everything at that facility, I I've done some tests and I believe that I can just regulate the planar fissures that I create and apparently that will give me sufficient energy to, to remain ambient and do whatever I need to do. Sleeping, much like so many other things I thought were necessary in my life, is just something that was designed to make me feel human. Now, thankfully, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So I wouldn't be concerned. My, my capabilities should not decrease. No, of course not. In any case, I know there are some beings that do not need to sleep. But I guess all I'm asking is just please take the time to rest. Even if it's not sleep, but just to relax. I feel like there are more important things than worrying about my capability to rest or not. I feel like I can handle myself, and now I have so much more time to be able to figure out how to undo all of this. So I wouldn't be worried. I think we should all just be happy that Cess is here with us and that we are this much closer to stopping untold horrors from inflicting uh, inflicting themselves on this world again. And once that mission is done, what will you do next? You said you would continue down the path of redemption. Is that still your plan? She, uh, kind of looks at you, Mal Ral, and goes, When all this is done, I don't know what I'll do. I, I don't feel like there's much for me to do after all of this. I, I will cross that bridge when I come to it. I've got plenty of work for you, if you're willing to take it. Gives him a good, long look. Goes, well, I guess we can see what we can do. He gives a stern nod. I, you all should be happy. We did it. We survived. And now we can go home and be one step closer to ending all of this. And she'll just kind of look out a window. We'll celebrate when it's time. For now, Arnor. And usually that means drinks. I'll be in the drink. <laughs> Lord, doesn't that sound like a good idea? Trip to the bar, have, I hear they have fireball whiskey. <laughs> Very curious what that might entail. I don't get how you guys don't want to immediately crash in your beds as soon as we get home. Oh, no, no, no. I, we are going to go drink on, on the train. <laughs> This is a five-week train ride. We're going to be here for a while. The week-long train ride. Right? <laughs> this is like this is the fifth day. I mix yeah, up five days and week, and like, yeah. you were, it's got you, no concept you, of time. You, it's yeah. okay. You are, you've still got a few days left. You got about two days before you arrive back in back in Greywall. <laughs> you silly gooses. Um. So, 
if you three go off to drink, Silodia will look at Paige and Sess and she'll just nod and she'll just walk away into another car, leaving just Sess and Paige. <sighs> you I'm sure you want to get back as soon as possible? I know you're really tired, but if you just need to rest, um, that, that's okay too. I just, I feel on edge here. I don't think I'll stop feeling on edge till we're back. Uh, if it helped calm you down after I sleep for X hours back home, I do have something I want to show you. Should be oh, done by what's now, that? hopefully. Hmm? It should what's be that? done by now, hopefully. I'm not telling you what the fuck that ruins the whole point of the surprise. Uh, you didn't technically say it was a surprise. It, it it is now a surprise. Uh, don't worry, sis. We'll 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 talk when we get home. Unless there's something you want to talk about right now. Just that. Uh, I'm I'm sorry about Spike. Really and truly, I know how much he meant to you, and I know I didn't always agree, but. It's okay. She, like, puts her hand over yours. It's all right. Mm. I don't think anyone here knew him like I did, so expecting you to immediately trust him like I did is kind of too much to ask. It's fine, though. What happened wasn't anyone's fault, and... It's sad without him, but I haven't forgotten that you're all still here. Right. She'll take her other hand and put it on top of hers. Whatever happens and whatever your new abilities or whatever's going on at the moment, I, you're you, and I, I accept that. Mm. I am thinking some things should change when I get back home. This, uh, this amount of gold does not work well with my current hair color. <laughs> Another dye gel, maybe? We'll see, we'll see. I can help if you'd like. Uh, hmm. Let's make it a two surprise when we get back. Two surprises when we get back. Oh my goodness, all the secrets. <laughs> At least. I'll lean forward and kind of do a little Head nuzzle. Bump. Yeah. Head bump. Head bump. Yeah, I look forward to it, but yeah, get as much rest as you need. Yeah. Trust me, when we get home, I will be sleeping so <laughs> fucking hard. I can feel it. I can feel it creeping up on me. Well, if you're hungry, maybe we can hunt down the tiny cart. Get uh, some. <laughs> yeah, hmm? we should bring some stuff back for Salonia. At least yeah. to eat in front of her. I know she says she doesn't want to eat anymore, but I think the moment she smells good food, she might, like, you know, maybe be interested. Yeah, we'll grab some extra, too. Yeah. Worst case, I'll eat it. <laughs> sure. I'm still eating for two right now, even if the other one isn't here. Oh, goodness. Mm. Yeah. She'll squeeze her hand and lead her over to the cart to grab mm -hmm. some stuff. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> As people eat and drink their final, their final days on the trip, you will eventually see the giant gray walls of gray wall as you uh, as you pull into the station back at home and get off and head back to your mansion. And you uh, find Lily and Taishen and Larissa and Asharan all waiting for you as Lily will run up and give you all big hugs. I was so worried about you. You've been gone for weeks. Is Larissa there too? Yeah. She's just like, oh, okay. hey, welcome back. <laughs> cool. Now, um, I have a slight favor to ask. Uh, preferably one of the people who did not have to fight for their lives in a hellscape. Uh, please drag me to the infirmary and plug an IV into me and says just immediately fucking falls on the floor and collapses. Kaishen will 
sigh and walk over. <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry, I, I shall take this warrior to her bed. Cure wounds, that's a restoration. <laughs> no. Pick up. Assess. Princess carry her up to her room. And, uh, it was not an easy time, but job's done. <laughs> Charn, look at you guys and go, so you figured out how to stop them? Well, stop them there from coming a, back. There was a strange mechanism artifact that was I believe it was called Phoenix something. It would constantly reapparate them whenever they died. We blew it up. <laughs> huh. Well, that's really good to hear. I, if they had some way to just keep coming back, I don't feel like anything we would have done to stop them could have truly had a lasting impact, so. Now, whenever they die, they're dead for good. Now we just need enough manpower to confront the powerful beings. Who knows, maybe we'll take them by surprise. They won't know that they won't be able to come back. Maybe they'll jump off more ships and it'll all <laughs> blow over. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be like super easy if they just like blew up and then we were like done. We, you know, how much do you think it would cost to get like another cruise ship for them to detonate? <laughs> Don't think oh, that's what's in any of our budgets. Well, like this time, I mean, obviously, they, they we won't the, be on. They built it. the one already. How hard could it be to make another one? <laughs> do we have any more enemy generals that they really hate? Yeah, you should start looking into that. But, uh, yeah, like, welcome back. Uh, yeah, glad everything went good. Um, Sess, love the new look. Well, you're gone. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm with you in spirit, Larissa. I'm yeah. with you in spirit. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, Paige, you got, like, a lot bustier. Good on you. Finally, like, oh. working it. Uh, they, thank you. It, um, I never got to ask you. Is there a reason it's white? So she gives you this cute smile. <laughs> it comes with a bit of influences, I suppose. Well, that's just what happens when mammals get old. Uh, I'm, I'm not really that old, though. I, I mean, she like n <laughs> gestures to her boobs. Like th these are new. Oh, no. Not like. <laughs> We got Paige Gilthark? Let's go. Well, no, I mean, they're they're mine, but they're, uh, <laughs> I mean, I never mind. Magic is weird. I've had white hair since I was born. So, you know, it isn't exactly a science. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to, like, fault a girl for getting a little magical augmentation. So, you know, good on you. Uh, if you want to really show it off, we can go shopping. I can get you some great outfits. Uh, the, I mean, that would be nice, but I, I, I don't. I maybe. Uh, sure, sure. <laughs> just looks over to Euphoria and is like, I just figured when someone hits fifty, it's their hair just goes white. Is that not true for all mammals? Oh no, darling, that's far from the truth. <laughs> I have much to learn. Me born mm. for you in her 50s. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Euphoria, would you mind stepping aside with me for a bit? There's something I wanted to talk about. Sure, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to my room. So, like, peace out. And she just <laughs> gives you guys, like, peace signs and just, like, flies away. <laughs> Maybe go visit your girlfriend. Always a ray of sunshine, that one. 
Chang as well. Uh, welcome back. I'm glad to see you're all alright. I'm sure that uh, Paige can go into further elaboration as to why she is different, but that seems like the conversation for another time. I mm. let you all get some rest and Ashar improperly ba basically phases out of existence. <laughs> So. I guess she left us because we didn't have any grilled cheese to hand out. <laughs> I could probably make some. I, I'd never tried making grilled cheese with my fire breath before. I wonder how that would taste. It's a delicate science. Lily's like, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll supervise. Um. <laughs> I, can do, I can do a soft fling. Uh, let, let, let's go let's go see that just a little bit at a time and she starts like pushing your butt towards the kitchen oh okay be sure to bring a good one to Sess if she's yeah. awake she looks tomatoes on her right alright I'll, I'll see if I can't do that I just want to clarify that if you put says food in front of a sleeping says she will eat while asleep <laughs> <laughs> it's that important Mm. Okay. He's just constantly just dropping grilled cheese over her head, and her mouth just opens and swallows it like a black hole. <laughs> um, Paige, it seems like Euphoria and Ilya are gonna go aside. Is there anything you wish to do as everyone yeah, goes separate ways? I'm going to scurry out of the way to uh, see if my clothes fit me. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're about to get that like. Everything is going to look like a slutty teenager on you because everything's too small. Because um, you're several like inches taller and much thicker. <laughs> yep, yep. She's like, oh gosh, maybe I do need to go shopping. <laughs> and Silodia is just quietly going to go back to her room and close the door. So, Ilya and Euphoria. Yeah, so I'm just going to kind of uh, just gesture to, for her to fall and just kind of walk over to the study and sit down kind of in the chair for a moment and gesture for her to do the same. It's something you need to, to talk about? It's not that I've been having any doubts, but I just had this salt on the way back watching so much pain, change, and heartbreak that, well, it got me thinking about all the other things that are going on in my life, and that got me thinking about how you continue to give your service to us in our cause in exchange for what is essentially nothing so far. We've mm. been unable to help, and I just I do not feel <laughs> it doesn't feel right. Well, a part of me always knew this might be a bit of a wild goose chase. And we've been a little preoccupied. Saving the world will certainly be an improvement on my professional resume. But <laughs> I've been thinking about that too. I just, I wish I had some more answers. I, f I feel like even though I'm from the Feywild and I would like to believe that there's still some connection I have to it, I feel utterly useless. <laughs> we certainly are tricksy, aren't we? I was hoping that just being in the company of those Jubi was close with, I might find a lead or a, a hint, something as to how to get her back, but I've been thinking 
I might have to make a difficult choice. I do have, I do have someone who could help, maybe. <laughs> I was really, really hoping it wouldn't come to it, though. <laughs> that bad, huh? Mm, that bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, enlighten me. Perhaps if there are fake creatures, then I might at least be able to give some information. Well, she's not fae, but she knows more about packs and cheating them than anybody else I've ever encountered. You, so, and you know her intimately, sounds like. Unfortunately. It might be time to pay a visit. Am I not allowed to know the name of this magical person? <laughs> it's a little dodgy. She kind of keeps a low profile. Um, but I will say that this person is my mother. You know... And she looks, like, shocked for a moment. In the, what is it, three or so months that we have been with each other, I don't believe you've mentioned your parents even once. Mm, there's a reason for that. I was gathering, so, based off of how, given what you have spoken to me about today. <laughs> My mother and I, we don't exactly see eye to eye on just about anything. But I will say she would certainly be knowledgeable about this kind of thing. Maybe have some insight on the situation. Mm. If, I can, if I can find her, that is. Rather, if she'll let me in. <laughs> Uh, if you need any assistance, and Ilya will reach over and kind of like hold Euphoria's hand for a moment, and just say, you know that I would be willing to help, especially given that I told you how I've been feeling about the situation. Hmm. I might need a bit of backup <laughs> to keep a cool head around her. She's, uh, she's kind of a lot, for lack of a better word. Being a lot is not exactly a bad thing, so. Well, I'll pose the idea to everyone once we've had some time to rest and recoup. I know we've got a lot going on, so finding my wayward daughter may not be of the utmost priority of the group. Now, I understand that, but anyone who, who wants to come can. Well, we always say here is that family is one of the, if not the most important things to us. And <laughs> considering that I know you are a part of our family, as is your daughter. Huh? We're here for you with that. I'm included in the, the family portrait. Oh, of course you are. Hmm. I led you to believe that you wouldn't be. I figured it was, it was business. Business? Even look me in the eye and tell me that 
exactly what we've been doing has been just business saving the world. <laughs> no business I've ever been on, that's for sure. <laughs> business is messy. But family can always bring you as that warmth that you need when you come home from a long day. Hmm. I'm glad that's that's what family is to you. I don't mean to pry, but I take it that when you came home from a mission, this Augustus may have not been the most warm embrace. I used to be. But people change. We both did. Or maybe maybe I didn't. Would you like a cold embrace? Yeah. Sounds nice. She'll walk over, meet Euphoria, and just give her a give her a tight hug. Just whisper into ear. If it ever happened before, it's alright. We'll forge our path. <sighs> I said I'd do whatever it takes, even if it means swallowing my pride a little bit. <laughs> can be a tough nut to swallow, but at least I guess I only knew pride as of recently. Well, I'll pose the idea to the group, see if anyone else wants to come. I figure I might as well do this, though, while I have some time to do so. Hmm. Of course. So I'll give her one last squeeze and just look her in the eye, give her a very nice soft smile. And just break off the hug before uh, nodding and just kind of sitting back down before saying, I'm going to stay here for a bit. You're welcome to stay as well. I think I need, I need a little bit of space. Clear my head. Mm. By all means. Good night. Good night. All right. With that, I believe, Sess, you wanted something to happen after you got some sleep? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, after, like, a few days of Sess just being conked out, she would have, waking up, immediately tell Lily, go get my sister to come see me, as he's, like, in bed. Okay, Lily will uh, bring Paige over. Paige is willing. I I have been summoned. Yes. <laughs> the sister is called. You must answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, it's time mm-hmm. for the actual surprise. But first off, um, and like says, and like who's been sitting in bed, reaches like between like next to the dresser and like between her the dresser and her bed whips out a folded up wheelchair as she fucking unfolds and puts it down on the ground and Smoke looks at her and says Kai Sh- I got Kai Shen to bring this for me from the clinic because uh, I don't know if, I- if I'm walk ready just yet and sort of hops into the chair and then looks at you expectantly come on push me around oh um 
But yeah, uh, of course, of course I will. This is the one Kinda time walk. you get to do it, so come on. <laughs> uh, we're not upstairs, are we? Uh, is your I room imagine. downstairs? Or is I it imagine upstairs? that Kai Sheng was putting me in the infirmary just in case, which would be on the first floor. That's my head cannon. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. You could, you could match me down the stairs. You're a big, strong wizard now. I don't know how handicap accessible this house is. <laughs> right. we'll, 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 we'll address that in the renovations. Uh, yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, Take me to all the right. back Of course. Yes. Uh, oh, yes, ma'am. She starts wheeling her out to the backyard. As you're, like, pushing over some, you occasionally look down and just see Sez looking up at you expectantly. <laughs> What's that look for? Uh, you'll see, you'll see. Come on, push. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, I, do you want me to push faster? <laughs> I don't know, but what's your, what's your strength score looking like? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we love that on minus one. <laughs> better turn into a big cat again. Uh, nah. <laughs> um, uh, okay. She will push against it and run as fast as you can uh, towards the door. <laughs> I'm assuming we're like like in the tier where like all, all some of the characters like Euphoria and the other adults just like vibing, and then you just hear two cats screaming as they run down the hallway. They <laughs> got the zoomies. The Drop everything. Run in. <laughs> Be safe. Take me to the backyard. What? It's okay. Don't worry. Uh, there's no speed limit in here. <laughs> all right. Have fun. Watch your kids. You have to be better. No, they <laughs> they're going to rough hat. Trails off. Uh, Wait, I- Ilya, open the door. I can't stop. <laughs> the door into the backyard. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll get I'll get I'll get Kaishen to fix it later. Don't worry about it. No, that was not just... planned, but it is welcome. Hey, if you want, bestie, it's up to you. No, 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 she will stop if, if no one is there to open the door, to, to open it. I don't have a way to other than powerful magic. <laughs> someone will open the door. Thank you. It's so, just open. You have many people in this house. Somebody can open the door. Lily so will fucking the ninja door. leap there to open it. Yeah, okay. Uh, at this point, I guess we're just in the backyard. Okay. I can walk from here. And she just gets up and like just paces over to the bushes like like it was there was never a, a walking issue. She just wanted to fuck with you. What? Oh, my legs got all better again. Was was that your surprise? Your acting skills? Nah, I just wanted to fuck with you. Come here. And <laughs> says pushes aside the bush you saw her come out before you guys went on quest nine to ten and walks through the bushes and like a little hand comes back through the bushes and does the little follow me uh, motion. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, she will cautiously go towards it and go in. I didn't grow anything with brambles. You're fine. And if something gets stepped on, I'll just fix it later. Come on. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Where, when did you have time to do all of this? I have a lot of gardening ideas. Uh, anyways, I uh, I built this, and as like she moves through and lifts up a branch, you uh, see a small little like clearing amidst a bunch of bushes, and littered throughout are well. First off, a bunch of flowers, but littered throughout there's a rusty old swing set that's been a little refurbished. Uh, those little, like, springy horses, a slide, a little, like, wooden platform that kids climb up. It says just sort of falls back into the swing set as the realization hits you that these were from an old park in Sharn that got torn down a few years back. So, uh... Yeah, I, uh, Kai Shen got me thinking bigger with the whole, like, gardening thing, and it occurred to me... At the home, everyone's got their own little place to vibe in, you know, like Malra and Salonia kind of take turns with the crafting area. Kaishen's got a little painting set up. 
Ilya and Euphoria are always like in the tea room, at least in my experience. I don't know, something else. Larissa made her own nest. Uh, Lily definitely has like rooms in the wall, but uh, I figured we could use a space like that. Yeah, so I made this little hidden area in the garden and uh, I got a little more ambitious, you know, sent a letter to LD. Didn't think he'd actually uh, find stuff to send, but, you know, this came in. And then I got Kai Shen and uh, uh, Oathgold to work on it and refurbish it for me while, you know, I couldn't garden, you know, because we were out fighting disgusting things. And, uh, yeah, I uh, wanted to have a surprise for you. <laughs> I... I I don't know what to say. I I haven't seen this in so long. How here? You don't have to say if words are hard. You can just just sit on the swing next to me. Sit on the swing. Just walk over and sit on it. Like oh my gosh, I can't even remember the last time I swing before. It's been so long. I'm glad to see that you'll be able to relive it now in this little private area if you ever just wanted a place to, like, not think and not be bothered. <sighs> this is really nice, Sus. Thank you so much. Hey, I'm going to be using this too, okay? So, you know, ease up on the thanks. <laughs> we'll just leave a note in the bushes if you want some alone time. <laughs> just raise a little flower up. <laughs> So, um, so sort of starts absolutely swinging back and forth, just, you know, very, very lightly, nothing serious. Um, so what are you thinking about doing after everything's done? Me? Oh. I mean, if you don't want to answer, don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I haven't figured that out yet. I know there's... There's a lot of possibilities, a lot of different outcomes. And funny enough, I... I've been so busy looking at everybody else's, I... haven't really been focused on myself. Hmm. Well... Let's say you just went, like, on a, a default path, I mean, it would just go back to the norm. What's university like for you? I, well, after the stunt I pulled, she kind of gestures to her hair a little bit. It'd be hard to face my professor now. Nah, I think she'd get jealous. <laughs> I mean, she definitely didn't look like she went through a tra transformation with time magic, so, like, eh, I think at this point you're bigger than she is. But, like, the classrooms and stuff, the teaching, all that. The learning, etc. I don't know. I've never been to a uni I've never been a university student before. Hey, you. I mean, you could take classes after this. I'm sure, with your reputation, they put it. I definitely put in a good word. I mean, maybe there's lots of different avenues for us. We could, you know, I could work in the charity industry. I don't know. You could. You could just be an author. There's plenty of stories to write about. There's plenty of avenues, businesses. Don't get me started yeah. on venturing, though. It's uh, kind of a shit industry. <laughs> yeah, I think after this, I, I'd want to take a break. Maybe writing a book doesn't sound so bad. I, I mean, I read all the time. Mm. I think that'd be nice. Um, when would be too far away from you. <laughs> as she's swinging, says sort of like smiles, and it looks like she's like puffing up with something to say, like building up, not letting it out yet. Um, I uh, nah, I can wait about this for later, but I just want to say thanks for everything. All the ideas and explaining everything to me 
and being nice to me even though things got stressed and she is going to keep saying thank you for various things until it gets infinitely more minimal and minimal until Paige sops her. Thank you for lending me a toothbrush even though you didn't really know. It's sus, sus. Thank you for letting me a few... oh, yeah. uh, sus, really. I... You, you don't have to thank me for all of that. It... Are, mm. are you sure there's not something else on your mind? I do want to say thanks for one more thing. Of course, what? When you went to university and your professor said you could study anywhere for your independent work, you know, either at Morgrave or Arcanix or some other place, I'm really glad you chose to be with me. Of course. We're, we're family. says sort of uh like stop swinging and then just does that awkward thing where you like scooch over with the swing pulling against the swing set with the chains to like be next to the other person and then she just gives Paige a really tight watery hug and a head bump at the same time I'm glad I chose to stay too Sorry it took so long for the two of us to figure all this out. <laughs> Part of growing up, I suppose. It's oh, growing up. Growing oh, we're so old now. You have white hair now. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it doesn't um, look bad, does it? No. Confidence is a good <laughs> look on you. But uh, I think I need to change. I have been wearing the same stinky clothes the past couple of days, and uh, the hair dye has been washing out. Oh my god, the black and brunette do not mix well together. <laughs> Let's go inside. I think I smell Lily cooking something. I'll go change first and see the rest of you downstairs. Okay. Right. But, um, Sus. Yeah? Thank you for... Thank you for all of this... It really means a lot. I I couldn't have gotten half of my confidence without you. I'm glad you're still around. I'm happy you're here too. And I hope you understand that I can only be as strong as I am because of you, too. Now let's go inside. I'm going to be covered and watered off mascara at this point. <laughs> It's a look on you, <laughs> for sure. She just looks like a really sad cough cloud at this point. You almost look like one of those raccoon shifters. <laughs> Alright, let's head back, let's head back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll walk with her, like, hand in hand, <laughs> back mm -hmm. inside. And then says leaves her in the dining room and goes upstairs to, uh, change. Everyone wants to go set up for lunch or dinner, whatever time it is. Sure. Lily will set up a meal. <laughs> <laughs> um, as the food's out, you guys, like, hear some steps up the stairs coming down. And uh, I'm going to update my reactive now and put art in the art channel if uh, Obvious wants to show a stream. Oh, snap. As you see no longer with her hair dyed in a lovely bomber jacket made by her sister now with spikes coming through golden spikes a uh, bright shining yellow waist cape skirt ripped tights it's still a messy cat girl knee socks and sneaks she starts hopping down the stairs and just sits next to Paige and starts eating without like waiting for anything <laughs> so cute! Yeah. This oh is... my gosh, I love it! I calmed Ace slash Minos for all this. I'll put their Twitter in the chat, but they fucking did this girl so much goddamn justice. Holy shit. It looks so good. Jesus, oh, so stinking so cute! Good. Look at this hot tamale. This her. <sighs> says we'll continue eating until somebody says something. <laughs> 
No one says anything. You're just sitting there eating for like eight hours. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll eat eight hours worth of food, dude. Yo, when did you get hot? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was always hot. What the fuck? No, like, you know, your goth phase was kind of weird, but, you know, I told you that, but like, you're giving off some real bad bitch vibes. It's almost like you actually like listen to me. I guess a delayed reaction, you know, that happens to me too. It takes me a while to process things, but like, I'm glad it worked in the end. You know, I'm pretty smart, so. She called you a poser, now you're no longer posing. Larissa, darling. That's how Larissa shows her love, dumb bitch that she is. That's, I suppose that's true. Oh, you stupid slut. <laughs> <laughs> so uh is there anything anyone else wants to say or can i continue chewing into this food well um sass you look great mm. uh, beautiful hold 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 those words uh the says one i i have decided something uh, your girl wants to do something when this is all over. I don't know what it is yet. Still figuring it out, but uh, I want to be important. I want to be famous. I want to be looked at by a lot of people. I want to be like the like the uh, sis. Do you remember the Do you remember the the stories our mom read us about those like fake people called the uh, like like ancient Greece or that fake world called ancient Greece or whatever? And there was that big <laughs> yeah, lady. Yeah, yeah. Fought a war over like Afro Titty or whatever her name is. <laughs> yeah, you want to talk yeah, about Afro Titties? Yeah. I don't believe that was her actual name, but yeah. it was so, close. So like I uh I I mean war's bad, but like if you know people wanted to start one over little old me, that'd be that'd be kind of special, you know, have dolls and stuff made about me. Our point is I want to be someone famous, and uh if I get there, I uh can't exactly do that without helping other people, right? So, uh, I, I, I shift the culture is long forgotten, and uh, the uh, our people do this thing where we preserve it in weird and private ways, so we don't have to deal with other people judging us for it. And like our language, uh, language is dead. Most of us don't even remember what the words mean. But I, uh. In, in Shift the Culture, we're given a name that is like after an object, you know, says in page, and we use that for other people. It's a word that describes us, but we're also given a name to use with each other for just shifters. But uh, I don't want to live closing off myself anymore. So uh, I'm going to go by Shawnee now, I think. Uh, oh? Yeah. Ilya's just crying. Yo, that was the girl that Kairos was hitting on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I was. And will now be, I guess. Um, sis, listen, if you don't feel comfortable yet, uh, don't worry about it. I, I'll force the rest of the world to do it before you ever do, so don't worry. I mean, I, I don't mind. I, that's just, I, I'm so proud of you. That's, that's great. Yeah, I want to be someone so important. They're going to change a whole culture because of me. <laughs> Shawnee. Oh, it's really nice hearing that now. Say it again. <laughs> My darling Shawnee. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm just so proud of you. And thanks, I'm Ma. <laughs> Sorry? Thanks, Ma. Is that weird? It's just a uh, affectionate. <laughs> <laughs> she just she she just starts crying again and is unable to continue. <laughs> I have her squealing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think you broke her. You, you want to help her with that? <laughs> Gives Ilya little pats on her back. We're very proud of you. 
It is good to see you at least accepted yourself. This kind of shen. Mm -hmm. Now I will uh, force the rest of the world to accept me <laughs> through many ways that I will figure out. <laughs> I have no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. I like your moxie, kid. Um, Thanks, Bob. And, uh, <laughs> She's just like so head empty, just eating food in between the conversations. And I believe a very wise person once told me short girls do it best. So I yes. think you've got to got to show that to the world. Mm-hmm. I am probably at some point going to ask you to, as well as every attractive person I've ever met to come here and teach me though. Cause like short girls do it best. So like imagine how good I'll be at these things when I learn them from you guys. Hmm. If you'll um, spare me one moment as I mm -hmm, try and keep myself together. Well, thank you. Thank you, Shani. As, <clears throat> as someone that redefines themselves after many years of their life, it's, it's so lovely to see the confidence in which you always, in which you're shining. You're shining right now, Shani. You're absolutely shining. I could only make the jumps I did and shine as bright as I do because of people like you, Ilya. So, sob as much as you want. It's okay. And then she continues eating. <laughs> so me. Well, I guess if we're on first name basis, um... <laughs> You definitely don't have to call me this. My, my name is, uh, is Kamar, actually. But definitely comfortable enough with everyone here. If you want to use that. <laughs> if that's what you're all right with, well, only do... We'll refer to you however it is that you wish. Well, Kamar? I... Mm -hmm. How does that sound? It sounds nice. I actually haven't heard it in a long time. Well, Kamar? And Shani? It's lovely. It's lovely to see you too. Says just shoots Paige a look, and I feel like they would have the same brain cell to go, thanks moms, together. Yes, they say it at the same time. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying. <clears throat> Ilya's trying so hard to not cry again. <laughs> I don't, this is not about me. But just... <laughs> you asked me to say his name again. Can you say that again? Okay, Mom. Yes, Mom? <sighs> I love you both so much. Keep shining. Come here, you rascals, and she's gonna tussle both of your your heads. <laughs> so does this mean we should start calling you mommy? <laughs> if that is what you desire, Larissa, I'll be more than happy to go no, by no, mommy. That's a, that's a that's a that's a privilege only few have, so <laughs> <laughs> wait, does this so... mean we call Kaisha and Daddy? <laughs> Kaisha goes, Wouldn't it? No. 
<laughs> I think that would be more Euphoria's role, actually. Oh, okay, Daddy. <laughs> What? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> From the books I've read. What books are you reading, girl? I know those books too. Yes, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Kaisha just looks dead bad as he says it. <laughs> she knows how to fuck with them, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my god. I won't call you that unless you ask for it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I think uh, j- just euphoria is, is fine, but if you're feeling affectionate, I, I won't object to Ma. But, uh, <laughs> well, uh, not to totally shift gears here, but just I'm I'm really glad that y'all can feel like you can trust me and have brought me into your your confidence and your well your family. And I was hoping I might be able to ask a favor of you all, or rather whoever is is feeling up to it. I mean, you don't even have to tell us. I'm down. Well, <laughs> wait, wait till till you hear what, what I'm what I'm asking for. I won't, but you can explain anyways. Since coming here, my whole purpose, initial purpose, being here. was to find more answers about Juby. How to find her, how to get her back. And while I've, I'm honored to have been a part of all of these wild adventures with you all, I'm no closer to finding my daughter than I was the day I first got here. I was hoping It wouldn't have come to this, but I might have to ask for help from an outside source who has a lot of of knowledge about packs, hopefully how to break them, certainly how to cheat them. Uh, I'm asking whoever wants to come. to talk to my mother with me. The mom of mom. Mm. Yo, grandmommy. Sorry if this isn't the kind of thing to joke about, though, but yeah, I'd be dumb. You, you sound concerned about it, though. Is, she, is there something we should be worried about? or? Well, for anyone who wants to come, there's going to be two rules in our interactions with her. One is you don't breathe a word as to her whereabouts when I show you. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. She likes to keep a low profile. The second is you don't trust a goddamn thing that comes out of her mouth. Okay. We follow those two rules, we should be just fine. She's not Faye, is she? That sounds very much like Faye rule. Uh, I don't think she is at this point, but it's kind of hard to say. She is, uh, she's a, a warlock of, uh, epic proportions. I think she's got, and you see she, like, counts on her fingers. Eight packs last time I checked on her. 
but that's been a while. So who knows? Maybe she added a few more. Oh. I take it you have a strained relationship with your mother. Quiet. I think the last time she saw her grandchildren, Jubilee was four years old, maybe. She's not exactly present. But she knows her stuff. And I think, unfortunately, if there's anyone who can think of a way to break a pact, it'll be her. Ilya will reach over and put her hand on Euphoria's shoulder and just say, I know we spoke about this before, but just to reiterate, you know I have your back. Thank you. Right, we definitely wouldn't do anything you wouldn't want us to do or say. Uh, it's well, it's not y'all I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if she's from your family, I'm sure she's a lovely woman. But you're right, we're, we're all in this together. If you Thank need you. me, I will do anything I can to assist you. Mm, she might eat you up. Is she a she <laughs> In a way. She sounds like she's many things, how much you've she, described. She's a lot. She She's a character. I've learned how to handle her. If it would be better to just not speak, then that can be arranged. Well, like I said, it's not y'all I'm worried about. <laughs> I don't necessarily trust her to be on her best behavior. <laughs> but I appreciate you all offering your help. It would, it would mean a lot to me to have you there. Well, we're all here together. Everyone in this house, or no, no, Malro is not. Okay. Yeah, he'll probably come back. Seems like he was yeah. warming up on the way home. So. Well, I'll definitely reach out to him as well. But frankly speaking, I think I'd be the most worried about him. She would eat him alive. <laughs> Sharon says, uh, "This seems to be a trend with the male members of our." team mm, she um uh, lacks proven her uh superiority likes yeah. having power over people mm. Yummy, mm. mommy got it that's a way of putting it <laughs> i will uh make sure to keep larissa entertained during this during the whole conversation All right. It seems like everyone is all the board helping Euphoria. I guess we'll have to stay tuned for next time to find out what happens with Euphoria's lovely dummy mommy mother. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, everybody. We're going to wrap up here tonight since we started late. We'll be ending at the same time as per usual. If you haven't done so already, please give a follow to all the wonderful players here. They're all amazing people and streamers in their own right. Go check them out. If you haven't done so already, we also have the YouTube of every episode of this uh, campaign to date. Uh, I also post them on my own personal YouTube that you can check out. If you want to get caught up or understand what the fuck is going on, if you came in at episode 46. <laughs> um, if you haven't done so already as well, please give me a follow here on Twitch, a sub over on YouTube, a follow on Twitter, and you join my Discord, the Eternal Citadel, and be a part of my incredible community. We'll be back here on Wednesday for a new Iron Kingdom short shot, where we are going to be uh, 
going uh, to a level 11 campaign. My players have all made various gremlin characters, so it should be entertaining. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a great night. Um, we are going to be uh, raiding for her send-off stream and her mini donathon. We're going to be raiding Hootie, who has been streaming all day because uh, she is going to be taking a hiatus for a while. So if you haven't done so already, please uh, copy down the call to hugs if you're a follower. Please copy down the knight's message if you are a sub. And we're going to go raid a little silly artist. Uh, God, what? How do I spell her name? Uh, artist, uh, currently Gengar, apparently, but she is normally a worm. <laughs> She's a rainbow <laughs> worm. worm. And I would still love her even if she was a worm. <laughs> But she's very talented, uh, and she deserves lots of love. So I hope you guys uh, send her some love. All right, everybody, have a great night in the sweetest of dreams. Bye. 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 Bye.